last week on the cow-calf corner, we visited with you a lot about stage one of calving. As, as you recall, there's basically three stages of the parturition or the calving process. And stage one was what took place before the cow actually went into labor. What we want to do today is to visit more about stage two of calving, and in particular, what impacts it might have on that baby calf. Stage two, as you recall, begins when we first see the appearance of a water bag or baby calf's feet. And stage two is over as that baby calf is, is totally delivered. And as you recall from previous cow-calf corners, we know that stage two should be about an hour in length in the case of that first calf heifer and about half that long, or about 30 minutes in length for the adult cow, one that has had calves before. If the calving process the delivery process takes much longer than that, we start to have some pretty important impacts on the health of the baby calf. You see, as the baby calf is going through the birth canal, there are times when the umbilical cord is going to be pinched off as it passes over the pelvic rim or the pelvic bone of the mother cow. As that birth process takes place, especially if it's over a long period of time, then we have pretty severe deprivation of oxygen and a buildup of carbon dioxide and some of its byproducts, particularly a lactic acid. And this results in a situation we call respiratory acidosis in a baby calf. One that's been through a really difficult birth that took several hours to deliver. And this is especially true when we have a backwards calf. We may have one that is born with a very severe respiratory acidosis. And that means, of course, that it's very low on oxygen, very high in carbon dioxide, and, and its byproducts, uh, lactic acid. That is where we come in as cow-calf managers to try to do our best to get that calf started breathing so that we can correct this situation that this calf has been put into. We want to remember that the way that calf starts to breathe is by contracting the diaphragm muscle. That's the muscle between the lungs and the ab abdominal or the digestive tract. That has to contract in order to expand those lungs. If we got that calf hanging over that rail fence, or even if we're holding him upside down by the hind legs, we're basically inhibiting that diaphragm muscle from being able to contract and allow the lungs to go ahead and expand. I think this will help you as you work through this calving season or any calving season and you have those few calves that come from a difficult birth that are going to be slow to correct that low oxygen, high carbon dioxide situation, tickling them in the nose with that stiff straw, I think it'll really help you. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner.